Good morning, X Factor friends, X Factor family. Henry Ford said, when everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. In order for the airplane to get its passengers to their destination safely, it has to fight through the wind. And once it fights through that wind, once it pushes through the wind, it's smooth soaring from then on, getting everybody to their destination from point A to point B. So you just have to remember, when times are getting hard, when you have a lot of negativity going against you, when you have a lot of obstacles going against you, you have to fight through. Fight through the obstacles, fight through all that negativity, and after you get through all that, you're smooth sailing from then on. It might be time for a new car. It's just not happening, man. So I got one windshield wiper broke. <clears throat> I can see through here though, so I'll be all right, but come on, man. The snow didn't jack my car all the way up. Anyways, what's going on, guys? It is Monday morning. I am headed to work. <laughs> Gotta go to work. Work pays the bills. You guys know that. But um, yeah, real quick, I want to update you guys on the weight loss and what's been happening. So today I woke up at 197.4. So yesterday I was 195. Today I was 197. Now what I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. It's the tacos. It's always something, you know. Uh, it's always something that might jack up your weight, and it could be the smallest little thing. The tacos weren't bad. They just had ground beef in them. The tortilla wasn't bad. It was fried, but I mean, I was already on no carbs. I was already low on carbs. I probably had like 150 carbs before then, or even like 100 before then. So there's a lot of things that could jack up your weight loss. That's why you don't. You don't go crazy when your weight is not responding the way you want it to respond. You just go in, tweak it, and uh, just do things differently. So I already know what the issue is, so I'm not stressed out. Uh, after today, which I will lift and do cardio, I'm pretty sure tomorrow morning I should wake up at 195 or 194. Just because, you know, uh, nine times out of 10, holding on to a little extra water especially from drinking all that water last night. So, little things like that. So, I should be good to go and, you know, everything is, everything is going smoothly, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. Okay, two for three, it looks like pre-workout. I'm gonna have one of these. Post-workout, I'm gonna have one of these. So 30 grams of protein, I think it has yeah, 25 carb, six fat. This chocolate peanut butter one is eight fat. Oh, what are these? Nah. Uh, I'ma grab, nah. Should we get the weak ones? I really don't want the wheat ones. I think I'm gonna go with these onion burgers right here. These onion burger buns. I'll make some hamburgers tonight. Two for four. Never had these before. Margarita. What's going on, X Factor family? You guys are about to watch a push day that I had uh, yesterday, actually. So I, I'm pretty much switched my split up. I actually want to follow a split, not specific exercises, but I want to do a push, pull, legs type of split. 
So you see that a lot. You, and it's, I mean, this is a common split, and I think it's very good for natural uh, bodybuilders, natural uh, fitness guys. You know, a push pull legs. It gives you the opportunity to hit each body part twice a week. So what you're seeing right here is you don't see my warm ups, but I warmed up, acclimated the weight all the way up to 315, and then I stayed right here and did three sets of four. So what you saw first was my first set. This right here is my last set of 315. I didn't record my second set because I didn't want my phone to die, of course. I don't want to record the entire workout because I'm using my phone and not my camera, which you guys know that. So yeah, that was a grinder with that four. The second set, I actually only got three. So three to four reps, uh, it was good. Then I went ahead and dropped the weight down to 235 and hit uh, I think I said a 10. So this might be 10 right here. But yeah, so yeah, I, I want to follow a split. I want to I wanna hit chest, shoulders, and triceps one day. I want to focus on the back, the traps, the rear delts, and the biceps on another day. Focus on my quads, hammies, and calves on another day. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing from here on out. So moving on from the bench press, uh, I went ahead and did some single arm shoulder press with the dumbbells. So not going extremely heavy. As you see, there was a fail. Phone fell off the bench, and that's what I struggle with with recording on my camera. I mean, my, my phone. So you didn't get to see the whole set, but that that's what I did. I did four sets of that, which was a shoulder press, single uh, single arm shoulder press. Four sets of about 10 to 12, 8 to 12. You can go from that range. I like for my heavy movements, which was the bench press. I like to do, you know, keep it at a little small ramp up range. And then for a lot of accessory work, I like to do at least eight to 12, sometimes 12 to 15. But here you saw this is superset. I did the dumbbell flies, chest flies. And I superset it with some lateral raises. So hitting the chest, then hitting the, uh, the uh, shoulders. And with both of these, eight to 12, like I said. But yeah, uh, shoulder press is actually a heavy movement but because I did single arm I didn't uh, do short reps but when I do like the OHP which you will see in another push day I will be using you know short reps on some workouts sometimes I'll go uh, more reps sometimes I'll do short reps building strength keeping endurance and you know all that but you can't really see what I'm doing here but I'm doing some overhead tricep uh, extensions right here with the dumbbell trying to get the trying to get that uh, long head of the tricep and I apologize because that was a tricep that wasn't a superset that was a tricep so because I'm watching it I'm going to change the wording but anyways finished off with some dips taking that from 12 to 15 so uh, thank you guys for watching this short 45 minute workout and enjoy the rest of the video post workout I'm gonna eat I'm gonna drink this and I'll eat this later when I get hungry again. That's what I used. What? Comes in handy. Oh. Me. Grab you one of those. <laughs> nah. These, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> these are seasons I used. Put a little barbecue sauce in there as well. It already came seasoned with this burger season, which has all of that. So let's get the grilling. This is how I'm ending it off. Two burgers. I got uh, some mayo on there. Some reduced sugar ketchup. This mayo only has. Three grams of fat per serving. So I split it up. So I only give three grams of fat for that. Got some lettuce. Getting my, my greens in. Two buns. These are sesame buns. I didn't get the onion buns that you saw in the store. I got these ones. So yeah, actually less carbs than these ones. Less fat as well. 
But yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to have for some last meal of the night. Finishing off strong. I also threw some pepper jack cheese on there. Two slices. Okay, everybody. That's it. That's the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But uh, I've been noticing 25 to 30 minutes of vlogging is just way too long. I mean, I want people to be able to watch the video, keep it moving. So I'm going to try to keep it 15 minutes or less. Work with me. Stay with me. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to make small adjustments just to make the channel more interesting and more feasible for everybody to watch. So like, comment, subscribe, and I will check back with you guys in the morning as always. Thanks for watching.